Hey everybody, I got a couple of new ram sticks here because I like the black and white look that I've got kind of going on right now. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with it for a little bit, see how it goes. I got this 16 gigabyte kit of Fury HyperX RAM. I got mine on sale for like 65 bucks, but you can usually find this for uh, around that price. Actually, Amazon is pretty good about having the same sales all the time. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and a how to install RAM kind of thing. I mean, I haven't done it on my channel, but everybody else has. So we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. It's unboxed. Look how good I am at this. I've practiced. It's got a nice white heat sink. It's kind of got a textured touch to it. I like that. And I really like the reflective HyperX. What I don't like is that the Fury is regular lettering and then you know, reflective. It's, it's kind of a weird offset between the two. But no, it's a really nice looking heat sink on it, I guess. And it's got like that HyperX logo there. And unlike the RAM that's currently in the system, where you can see the, the RAM stick inside of the heat sink, it's covered. It's, it's not like, oh look, it's a stick of RAM. It's more like, oh look, it's something that's not coming into focus. Oh look, it's a stick of RAM. But it's a stick of RAM without the ugly, you know, the PCB, I guess, showing. Also has a black PCB, which is kind of nice. I like that. Wow, I did not have that in center. But yeah, I like it. It looks good. Let's go ahead and do a uh, how-to install. I'll see you guys in a minute. Wow, it's kind of dark in there. Hmm. Okay, so... To uninstall your old sticks of RAM, there are these little clips. Beak. And one at the bottom. Boop. Then it comes right out of the hole. There is my old sticks of RAM. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these. I like them. They work fine. They're 1600. The kit that I'm going with is a 1866. That's, you know, you're not going to notice that difference. But I like the color, so we're going with it. But yeah, to uninstall it, you just pop the tab at the top, pop the tab at the bottom, and pretty much straight up pull it out. Now for installing, you got to be a little more careful because you don't want to jam it in the wrong spot. But no, you literally just hear that click. Hear that click? That means it's in. So we'll go ahead and do our second one. Make this video a little longer so I have to fight with it uploading. You know, click click and the RAM is set it's in no more issues you like my lighting solution yeah me too it's cheap but no all you do now is you start her up and hope that it posts with the new RAM any minute hmm Okay, there it goes. New RAM installed. So you get to the post, you know, it'll load up Windows, you get into your Windows, and blah, blah, blah. A lot of times what you want to do is you want to double check in your BIOS to make sure that it's being detected. But if you're an amateur or you don't know how that works, if the computer starts, your RAM is in. There is absolutely nothing wrong with just putting it in plug and play. Especially on consumer grade stuff. It's not like, you know, you're dealing with like ECC compatibility with like 32 sticks of 1 gig RAM or whatever. But yeah, that that's your basic how to install DDR3 RAM. And it's the same with DDR1, DDR2, DDR4. It's just different slots. They all go in the same. Sometimes you get like some of the newer motherboards that I've seen where the bottom is a solid mount and the top is a releasable clip. So yeah, basically the only other thing that you get in the box with it is a out of focus warranty and installation guide, which is okay. I mean, I won't use that unless it breaks. And something else I kind of like, a little, a little case patch, if it comes into focus. Yeah, that's pretty nice of them to give us that. A lot of companies do that now, which I like. But yeah, that's your installation of how to do it. If you guys like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. That's fine. I don't care. 
But I do ask that you at least comment with some constructive criticism. Maybe subscribe to my channel, see it grow. I appreciate you stopping by, and I'm really glad you did. I like it when people take time out of the day to view what I have to say. So I appreciate it. Have a good one.